All right, let's plot this. X squared plus XY plus Y squared is four. Our job is to sketch this, this curve. Now, what do I have here? Well, we're gonna use everything. Calculus, geometry, whatever we, whatever tools we can think of, and also this. Look at that, isn't that great? This is English breakfast with apricot extract. That's awesome. Man. You should try that. Okay. Now, first of all, let's see, what, what kind of curve is this? This is some quadratic form, and the quadratic form in general looks like this. Plus 2BXY plus C y squared plus 2dx plus 2ey plus some constant term f okay equals zero and I can call this whole thing q is zero quadratic form all right so what is a here a is one b is one half and c is one the rest is zero now there's two determinants that uh, we we can look at first determinant call it little delta a b b c this is going to tell us what kind of curve we have all right and that's mm, one one half one half one I do this determinants one minus one quarter that's three quarters now if delta bigger than zero then we have ellipse or circle maybe. If delta less than zero, we have hyperbola. Hyperbola. And if delta equal to zero, we have parabola. So what do we have in this case? Well, our case is ellipse. This thing is an ellipse. This thing here. Hmm. It doesn't look like an ellipse, like it doesn't have the elliptical form, but it is an ellipse, typical ellipse formula that you are familiar with. y squared over b squared is some number, 1, okay. But it doesn't look like that. Mm -hmm. All right. You'll see why soon. You'll see what the difference is after we sketch it. You'll understand. All right, now we have to check for degeneracy because it's possible that um, this is not an ellipse. It might actually be a point or, uh, you know, a hyperbola can be degenerate, become two lines and so on. So let's just check for degeneracy. Degeneracy can be checked by this big determinant ABC, ABD, ABD. B, C, E, D, E, F. There. And when we calculate all this, we find that this is not equal to zero. You try it. Try it. Okay, so a lot of these terms are zero. Um, well, okay, we can just do that. One, one half, one half, one, zero, 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 and here four. This is not going to be zero because the product of the diagonal not zero. So the determinant's not going to be zero. Get it? So it's not degenerate. It's a real, it's a real old-fashioned uh, ellipse. It's no trick, no trick, no degeneracy. It's not like something that boils down to one line or one point. Not like that at all. Okay. All right, let's continue over here, but first, let's get some of this, okay, apricot, English breakfast. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, now, where's the center of this ellipse? Well, that can be computed, you know, from the theory of uh, conics. Let's uh, take this Q thing, this left-hand side, and the partial derivative with respect to x, this gives me one equation, this gives me another equation, and that's going to give me my center if I solve this. Alright, so 
let's compute this. Uh, this gives me, um, well, uh, 2x plus y is 0. And now I, did, I take the partial derivative with respect to y. This gives me um, uh, y plus 2y, sorry, x plus 2y is 0. And if I try to solve this situation, I get xy is 0, 0. So the center of my ellipse, center of my ellipse is at the origin. Okay, that's good. That gives us a lot of information. Now, let's plug in some numbers into our ellipse. Let's put in x is 0. If x is 0, Okay, x squared plus xy plus y squared is 4. Uh, this goes to 0. I get y is plus or minus 2. And let's put y is 0. Same thing here. Uh, this goes away. I get x is plus or minus 2. Square root 4 plus or minus 2. So, so far, the reality is shaping up. Okay. Mm, it should be a square box like this. Here plus 2, x, y, here minus 2, here minus 2, here plus 2. And I have points. My ellipse will actually be on these points. Hmm. So it's shaping up. It's shaping up. Now let's use more calculus. Let's find the slope of tangent lines. Tangents. Tangents. Okay, let's take our curve x squared plus y x y plus y squared is four and do implicit differentiation. And I have two x plus hmm two x plus differentiate with respect to x, I get y and this x y um x y prime I differentiate with respect to x here. Now I differentiate with respect to y and then this term 2y y prime is 0. Alright, let's solve for y prime. I get x plus 2y y prime is minus y plus 2x y prime is minus y plus 2x over 2y plus x. There. This is very interesting. Very interesting indeed. So let's look at this points here. Here, y is zero at these two points. Y is zero here. Sorry, sorry. X is zero at these two points. Okay, so let's put in x is zero. If I put in x is zero, y prime becomes what? Put in x is zero here, and I get minus one half. Okay. Minus one half. And y cancels out. Now let's put y is 0. If I put y is 0, I get minus 2. The x's cancel out. Okay, that's very important. So the slope here and here, at x is 0, the slope is minus 1 half. Okay, that's a very weak downward slope, like this. Now, at y prime, is at y is 0, when y is 0, I have a strong slope in the downward direction like this. Okay, great. You see the ellipse starting to take shape? Yes? Should we try to draw it? Yeah, let's, let's sketch it. Okay, remember, sketches can look really bad. <laughs> they don't really have to look great. It's just a sketch. Oh man, it's so bad. Um, tangent here. Mm. You see, my uh, ellipse is tilted somewhat. That's why that explains why it is not this form. Okay, it's a different thing altogether. Okay, so here at this point it's a strong downward slope. Y prime is minus 2. Same here, strong downward slope. And up here it's weak slope. Here y prime is minus one half and here two weak downward slope like this y prime is minus one half. Well 
There it is. Can you believe it? We took this and we used some ideas from quadratic forms. I, I urge you to remember how to do this. I'll probably do some videos on this. This is like really useful in a competition because you never know. They're going to eventually ask you to plot some horrible uh, curve, you know. But hey, look, it's not that hard. We didn't even need this. We could just guess it's a conic, plot out four points. If you plot out these four points, you kind of know that it's, it's going to be a circle or ellipse and then work on the slopes using implicit differentiation like we did here. All right? And there you go. This was just icing. I wanted to show you this kind of advanced idea and also the center. You can see the center of our ellipse is right here at zero, zero, just like, just like the theory says. Okay. But in fact, you don't need that advanced theory. You could have just plotted these four points and then worked out the slopes like we did here. And you'd get the right answer. Very beautiful, very beautiful problem.